Abortion rights demonstrators packed the Minnesota State Capitol grounds this afternoon, demanding the state be a leader in providing abortion access following the overturning of Roe versus Wade. As Kirsten Mitchell reports, although abortion remains legal in the state, demonstrators are calling on lawmakers to do more. Today we march. From St. Paul College to the Minnesota State Capitol. Abortion rights demonstrators demanded the state to be a leader in abortion access. It feels really empowering and it also makes me sad for um, what we have to fight for right now. Cousins Sarah and Laureen said they came to show young people they have support. I had an abortion in my early 20s and even though it was legal, it was still a hard, scary, lonely process. I hope people know that there are people supporting them. Abortion right activists are also celebrating a major victory when a district judge last week ruled that several of Minnesota's state laws restricting abortion were unconstitutional. It's good news and there's always more we can do. From poets and performers to politicians on the August and November ballots. Let's fight to make it legal on a federal level. Let's fight to make sure we don't take a step back. Since Roe v. Wade was overturned, Minnesota has become an island in the Midwest for abortion access. If they want to come here, they get to come here, and we're going to stand and fight for their rights too. But Governor Tim Walz warned elections will determine the future of abortion access in Minnesota. We will protect those who are providing that service, and we will continue to advocate to do more. As long as we occupy the offices in this building, we will fight like hell to protect your right to an abortion. In St. Paul, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. Kirsten mentioned a ruling last week. A district court struck down several abortion restriction laws. Those include a 24-hour waiting period, parental notification, and disclosure of certain medical information before the procedure. Minnesota Citizens Concerned for Life released a statement ahead of today's event, saying in part, quote, Our state can do better than this vision of no-limits abortion. We can do better to support and empower women and to value and protect children.